If you didn't know, we are now able to change the color on animated stickers inside Canva. But we cannot do this trick with any sticker in the Canva library. It has to be a Lottie sticker. So in this video, I'm going to show you 11 sets of Lottie stickers available in the Canva library for free. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. In this video, I'm going to be using the presentation that you see on the screen and this same presentation you can find it in the description of this video. So let's open the first page. As you can see, I'm using the stickers from this set on this slide. So I really, really like this set of stickers and we have a lot of animated abstract shapes. These are not the only shapes available in this set. So let me go over to Canva to show you the whole set. What you would like to do is to copy the code that you see on this slide and then go to the Canva editor. We're gonna be searching inside the elements tab. So in this search box, we are gonna paste our keyword and then hit enter. Here we have the complete set of abstract shapes. I really like them because they are basic in a way. They will be really easy to use and to make them work in almost any design. So that's what I really like about these shapes. Now let me quickly show you how to change the color on these animated stickers in case that you don't know how to do it yet. You're gonna bring any of these animated stickers to your design and by having the element selected, you will see that you will have access to the color option. So from here, just click on the color button and you will be able to change the color of your shape. Now let me go back to the elements section because I want to show you again that all the elements in this set and the following set that I'm going to show you in this tutorial are completely free. So you will see that none of these shapes have the crown or the pro label. And when you click on any of these shapes, you will see that these are completely free to use. So I find this pretty cool. You can use these shapes if you are using a Canva free account or a Canva pro account. Now let's move on to the second set of the day. These are abstract animated tiles or animated patterns, which I really like as well. So let's copy this code and then go to Canva. From here, I'm going to paste our keyword and hit enter. These are the elements available on this set. I really like these animations because you can use them in almost any design and let me show you like for example this one it's completely square and you will see that this specific set of elements or stickers have a lot of square animations so you can take one of these animations and if you are creating something like a social media post, which most of the case will be a square format, you can use the animation like this and then reduce the transparency. And of course, you can change the colors so they fit your branding. So you can use them in so many different ways. You will also see that they have some animations. Let me show you up here. For example, this one, you can stretch it, duplicate the element, and then move this duplicate next to the other sticker. You can hit the preview button and you will see that these two animations are synchronized they have a synchronized movement. So basically you can create different patterns with the patterns that you already have on this set. Moving on to our third set of the day. And in here we have some other animated patterns. So let me show you what do we have in this set. Gonna copy the keyword, go over to Canva and paste my keyword in here. Hit enter and you will see that this set has a lot of different patterns with different styles, different type of shapes that you can use on your designs, on your videos or animations. You will see that many of these patterns have a square format, the same way as we saw it in the previous set. And I really like them because you can use them 
as I already mentioned, for your social media posts. But as these stickers are patterns, you can position or organize these elements one next to the other in order to fill the background on your design, doesn't matter the format that you are using. So let me show you quickly how to do it, for example, with this one right here. Let's say that I want to cover the background of this design with this pattern. So I'm going to duplicate this element right here and then position it right next to this one. And I'm going to continue doing the same process until I have filled the background on this design. So let me just go around filling up the empty spaces and then once you think that it is looking good you can go to the preview button and double check to see if you like what you see on the screen. You have a lot of different shapes on these patterns so you will have some hearts, some stars and some other abstract shapes on these stickers. I really find them cute, so really worth checking out this set over here. We are moving on to a set that is more business related. In this set, we have some corporate character scenes. So let me show you the complete set of stickers. Let's copy these and let's go to Canva. Control V and hit enter. These are all the corporate character scenes that we have available on this set. I really like them because you could use them on your social media posts, your presentations, and even your websites. So for example, this sticker right here, it is showing error 404. So basically when somebody is having an issue on your website, you could use this sticker on that page. And as I told you, you can change the colors. So this sticker has your own branding. In this set of stickers, you will have some characters interacting with mobile phones. You will see that this is something like an e-commerce you will have here a woman next to a computer so yeah anything related to online businesses i would say let me show you this one i think she's next to an e-commerce site again we have something related to analytics or data and if you go through all these characters you will see that they use a lot of websites computers and phones We are on the set number five and in here we have a really cute character but it's also related to businesses or it's a corporate character. Let me show you. Let's copy this keyword and let's go to Canva. Let's paste the keyword in here and hit enter. Let me show you first all the different characters that we have on this set. I find them super, super cute. And if you pay attention, you will see that we have some of these characters that are celebrating. They are really happy. Some of them are working. So for example, these three are working as a team. I would say this one is looking at analytics. Let me show you something else like customer service. This one is sending emails. This one is also, I guess, like on customer service or maybe doing a Zoom call. And you will see that there are a lot of different cute situations. I would say that this one is meditating, this one is on holidays, and this one is probably sending a review. So basically you will have the same character in so many different situations. It is very versatile and actually pretty cute. Ronnie liked it so much that he actually used it in one of our community posts in the channels. Now we're moving on to three different sets that have the same topic or theme. These animated elements, you could use them on brainstorming sessions, so basically whiteboards, or you could use them on presentations. Let me show you what do we have in this set. Let me copy the keyword and let's go over to Canva. Let me show you all the animated elements on this set. 
I really like them because they have a very subtle animation. So when you have all of these stickers in a brainstorming document, it will be cool because you will have something interactive, something moving, but they won't be very distracting because we want to focus on the brainstorming and not the elements. So that is something very positive. Also, if you are thinking about using them on your presentation, you want people to focus on you and the content of your presentation and not so much on the elements in your presentation so pretty cool set of elements Moving on to the set number seven. In here, we have some elements that you can also use on your presentations or brainstorming sessions. But I think this set of elements, you can also use them on your social media designs. So let me show you this set. Let's copy the keyword. Let's go over to Canva and paste it here. Let me show you all the animated elements in here. As you can see, we have this save icon and this actually reminds me of Instagram and TikTok in which we can actually save the posts or the videos that we see on the platform. And I know that at least on Instagram, people use this icon a lot to make a call to action to ask people to save their content. So that's why I'm saying that I can see these elements on social media designs or posts. This little heart as well to ask people to like their content. And we have so many cute emojis that you can use them in any design. This is the set number eight. Let's go over to Canva and paste the code in here. And this is the set of animated elements that we have in here. I think this set of elements actually has the same elements as the previous one, but they have a different style. So as you can see, we have also the save icon. We have a heart. We have a bunch of emojis. So basically you can use them also on social media posts or you can use them on your brainstorming sessions or presentations, anything that you want basically. Now we have a set that has a FinTech theme to it. They have a lot of icons and things related to cryptos. As you can see on the screen, we have some Bitcoin icons in here. So let me show you the complete set. These are the icons or animated stickers in this particular set. So as I showed you on my slide, we have a lot of things related to Bitcoin. We have computers, we have icons related to security data. We have more coins in here or Bitcoins to be more precise. We have an icon related to NFTs, we also have here something related to money. So if you are creating content related to money or to Bitcoin or FinTech, these are the elements for you. On this set, we have something completely different to the previous set. In here, we have a lot of sport equipment. So let me show you the complete set. Here we have the sports set. So let me quickly show you all the elements in here. And let me just start bringing these elements to my empty page to show you a little bit the style of these animated stickers. Now we have a pretty cool set of elements. This one is super cute and we also have a lot of animated text into these stickers. So let me show you this set of elements. Let's go over to elements and paste our keyword in here. Let me scroll down to show you that we have a lot of stickers in this set. 
I would say that the theme for this set of elements is more into education. So let me show you, for example, here the keywords of this set. We have keywords like education, students, school, classroom, teachers. So yeah, anything related to primary school, education. But I would say that it is still worth it to check this set of elements out because you will have some elements that actually are not related to education. For example, we have this element right here. This is just an abstract organic shape that you can use on any design or animation that you wish. And like, for example, let me go up we will have these other cute stickers that you can use for anything that is not related to education this sticker in here as well but yeah of course if you are into education you know like anything related to primary school this set of elements is gold <laughs> for you guys after seeing all of these beautiful stickers, I was wondering if you guys would be interested in having Canva templates featuring these stickers right here. So load these stickers, the stickers that you can change the colors to it. If you liked a particular set of stickers, please let me know in the comments, because if I see that a lot of you are interested in the same set, we may create a special set on my Canva profile. If you didn't know I have a Canva profile, I'm gonna leave the link to this profile in here. In that profile you can find a lot of templates available for Canva free and Canva Pro users. Also, if you enjoyed this tutorial, I'm gonna leave another video in here in which I shared 10 other keywords to find 10 other set of Lottie stickers. I think that's it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!